Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Dropbox and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you cancel your Dropbox subscription? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's gonna be a really quick video. There's actually not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna cancel your Dropbox subscription? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're working on a temporary project and no longer need the extra gigabytes of space. Or maybe you're switching your cloud drive into another provider. Whatever the case, this is a pretty easy process and it's all handled through the Dropbox website. One thing I wanna note is if you signed up for Dropbox through your iPhone on the App Store, so if your payments are processed through iTunes or through the App Store, that's gonna be a different process. Go back and watch my other video, how to cancel your Dropbox on iTunes. For this video, this is if you signed up directly with Dropbox like I did. Also, I wanna let you know that I did look around for information on how to cancel your Dropbox subscription through the iPhone app. I wasn't able to find a way to do that, so that's why we're going through the website right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link to this website. Once you get here to dropbox.com, you will need to log into your account. I've already logged into mine. Once you've logged in, you wanna click on your profile button, which is on the top right here. Yours might be some sort of a picture or something. Mine is just a general SU, this purple button. I'm gonna click there now. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you're gonna get this little pop-up. I zoomed in a little bit. Once you're here, you wanna go ahead and click on the settings tab right here. I'm gonna click there now. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Once you click there, you're gonna get this drop-down menu right down here, but also there's a menu towards the top. It's kind of hard to see, but you have a couple of different options, but what you wanna do is click on the second one. It should say plan, it's right after general. I'm gonna click there now. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, this screen's gonna pop up and it's going to show your current Dropbox plan. So I have a Dropbox Plus subscription for $11.99 per month. But if you'd like to cancel your Dropbox subscription, you wanna look down here towards the bottom. It says Cancel Plus Plan. And there's a little button right here called Cancel Plan. I'm gonna click there now. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, this multiple option question is gonna pop up. They're just asking for a reason on why you'd like to cancel. One thing I wanna let you know is before you cancel your Dropbox subscription, just know that if you are over your quota for a free Dropbox account, that's gonna do a couple of different things to your account. So once you cancel your Dropbox subscription, it's going to drop you down to the free plan. Now, how many gigabytes for free you get depends on your particular account, but usually it's around two gigabytes. But what if you're over that? What's gonna happen? Well, the first thing that's gonna happen is you will have your current plan until the end of the billing cycle. So however long you've paid for, it might be one week or two weeks. So you still retain access to all the files, all the syncing, everything still remains the same. But if you cancel your Dropbox subscription and your current paid period expires, and you're over the quota for the free account, which might be 500 megabytes or two gigabytes, what's gonna happen is all your files still remain the same in Dropbox. So you can go to the web browser like what we did here. You can log in, you can go ahead and download your files. You can view your files. Everything still remains the same. However, Dropbox will stop syncing with all of your devices. So if you make a change on your local folder Dropbox on let's say your MacBook Pro, that change is not going to carry over to dropbox.com. So if you rename the file, it's not gonna rename inside Dropbox. Also, if you add documents into a file on one device, it's not going to sync with the other devices. Whatever's on dropbox.com will remain the same. The good news is that your files still remain there. It's not really a big issue, at least not the time of the recording of this video. So you have time to download those files later. Also, they don't just simply delete all of your files if you downgrade or if you're over the quota. Those files still remain there. So if you'd still like to cancel your Dropbox subscription, go ahead and choose an option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this. Next, you wanna click this blue continue canceling. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you're gonna get this retention message right here. And it's also letting you know the same thing we just went over. If you've already reached your quota, once you're downgraded, so if, for example, they're telling me that I'm gonna go from two terabytes down to two gigabytes, that might be different for you. But if I do that, what's gonna happen is after my paid plan expires, then the Dropbox is going to stop syncing between all of my devices. And actually my Dropbox is connected to four different devices. Also, I won't be able to add any new files to Dropbox. And if you remove files from your Dropbox, you cannot restore them. And if you're okay with that, what you wanna do is click right here. I still want to downgrade. I'm gonna click there now. 
All right, next you get the second retention pop-up right here, and it gives you a couple of different more warnings. If I downgrade, I'm gonna go from two terabytes down to two gigabytes. I'm gonna scroll down. Also, it's letting me know that I've already reached my quota, so my Dropbox will stop syncing files, and I can't add any new files or restore deleted files. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you have a couple of different more options. As you can see, their retention effort is pretty strong, so you can con contact Dropbox support. You can change your Dropbox plan, but if you still want to downgrade, you want to go ahead and click this button right here. I still want to downgrade my Dropbox subscription. I'm actually not going to cancel my Dropbox subscription because I use it quite often, but that's the easiest way I know how to cancel your Dropbox subscription. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.